The last six months for me have been the loneliest, but also the most productive time period in my entire life. The reason I finally feel comfortable sharing with you guys what's going on behind the scenes is because I'm finally taking action to improve my social life. I'm moving. If you're interested in learning where I'm moving to and why, I explain the entire story on Sales Prestige Podcast, which will be the first link in the description below if you wanna go take a listen. So look, let me provide you the context here. Six months ago, I left everyone and everything I knew, having lived in downtown Dallas, to move 20 miles north to Plano, Texas, which is a suburb so that I could live five minutes from my office to devote 100% of my time, effort, energy into my career. I live in a complex that a school bus drives through and I have never seen someone within five years of my age and I'm currently 26. Imagine in your own life what it would look like to fully go all in, remove all distractions in the form of social life, friends, TV, gambling, drugs, drinking. I gave up everything to completely focus on working towards my goals. And in today's video, I'm gonna explain, was it worth it? And talk to you about the takeaways I learned along the way because I'm removing myself from the situation for a reason. I wanna start by sharing what a normal week in my life looks like. I work Monday through Friday. My typical workday starts between seven and 7.30. I go to the office five days a week and I will work until 5.36 p.m. some days later, focused on my software sales job, generating pipeline, making cold calls, doing whatever it takes to close enough revenue to hit my targets. I have promoted to a senior account executive, Forex my income, and I'm extremely excited about the progress I've made. The moment I get home, I then focus all of my energy until about 9, 9.30 p.m to making YouTube videos. We've grown this community to nearly 10,000 subscribers, and it's extremely exciting to read the messages from you guys saying, hey, your video helped me get a job, it helped me find more success, and those messages are what pushes me to keep going despite being tired, and even tonight, I didn't feel like necessarily making a video, but I said, I have to make a video no matter how I feel. So basically, Monday through Friday is 7 a.m. until 9.30 p.m. I am working through the day between software sales and making YouTube videos. The best part about all of this is most people look forward to the weekend. You say, hey, I'll take some time to relax, I'll enjoy myself, and I'll have fun. My weekends were the opposite. I purposefully made my weekends more challenging than my weekdays so that I could prime myself to say, there is no downtime, there is no relaxation, I want to be in survival mode all points in time so that when the week comes around, I am aggressive and I am on the all out attack. So on Saturdays, I would wake up, I would read for about an hour, and then I would go on a long run because I was training for a marathon most of last year. I ended up completing the Dallas Marathon, my time was about 3.50. I would go on a long run, and you may think I'm joking when I say this, but I would listen to audiobooks on the runs and my personal favorite was Extreme Ownership by Jocko Willink. It's completely for free on Spotify if you wanna go check it out. I would get back from the run, I would hydrate, I would eat my oatmeal, and I would listen to educational podcasts that inspired me to keep getting better. The rest of the day, I would sit on my couch by myself and visualize what do I want to have happen in the future? Who do I wanna be? Who do I wanna be surrounded by? What do I want? Where do I want to live? And I went as far deep internally as someone could go. Because in those moments on the weekends when you have nothing to look forward to, it can be discouraging to recognize that, look, I make a lot of money, I work hard, I'm well-spoken, I'm okay looking, and yet I have no friends and nothing to look forward to. And sometimes you can get in your own way and say, what's wrong with my life? I have nobody to celebrate the success with. And I didn't like that feeling. So in order to combat it, I had to go even deeper inside and learn to be comfortable with being by myself. And I think that that is a superpower when you can begin to rather be by yourself than with other people. Naturally, we're social creatures, so it's good to have interaction. But when you get to a point where you can keep yourself satisfied and you can focus on what you want above all else, it's a really powerful place to get to. And that is the place I had to go internally. 
So when I think back to say, was the last six months worth it or not? Yes, it was worth it. For this reason, let me explain. Many times, I did not like my situation. I live in a place that does not inspire me. I'm not motivated by any of the people I see around me. And I don't like that. But I recognize that when I'm 36, I'm gonna look back and be more grateful for this time period than any other period of my life because I learned who I was as a person. I now look at myself in the mirror and say, I am the man. And the reason I am the man is because I know that I can give up everything, all worldly desires. I don't need anything to keep me entertained. All I need is a goal. And I can work towards any goal and I know that I'm willing to give up whatever it takes to accomplish that. And being able to say that with absolute conviction, not many people can say that, and it may scare some people. But the reason I'm able to say that is because I believe in myself more so than anything else. I now feel liberated mentally because when you get to a mind state of I can do anything, I can become whoever I want, I can interact with whoever I want, there are no rules, there are no restrictions, there are no limitations, no self-beliefs, you can become anything you want. You can have as much or as little as you want in life. And when you get to that place, it's true freedom. You may be wondering, okay, Trent, are you gonna move and you're gonna stop cold calling? Are you gonna stop making videos? Are you gonna stop working hard? What is your life going to look like and what is going to happen? I reached a point where I said, I am done waiting to become the person I want to become. It's really easy to put off what you want because you recognize that, hey, if I actually go for something and don't get it, I'll face ridicule, I'll feel like a failure, and it's not a pleasant feeling of saying I'm not enough to do something. But what I realize is if you don't try, then you'll never put yourself in that situation to actually make it happen. And I visualize myself as living in a cool place around cool people that inspire me. I wanna make a lot of money, I wanna help a lot of people, I wanna be super successful. So I said, I wanna go live at a place that actually motivates me and that I'm actually super proud of. I'm willing to pay 2x the rent I'm paying right now because I don't care. I'm not focused on saving money. I'm focused on how can I make more money and how can I go meet people that will help pull me forward in life. And that is why I'm moving because I want to expand my life. I want to be around all those temptations that can pull me down but also pull me forward while also being true to myself and saying I will put myself first above all else because I know that I can keep myself happy. I can look myself in the mirror and say, hey Trent, I'm proud of you because you are the man and you can do absolutely anything and it doesn't matter what anyone else is doing, what anyone else is saying, and I believe I can do anything. So that's why I wanna move and that's why I wanna surround myself with other people. I wanna be social. I still wanna work hard. I'll leave you with this. If you want life to get better, you need to get better. In those times when I started to feel bad for myself, like a victim, I said, Trent, nobody is coming to save you. If you want your situation to improve, you need to improve. So I had to go deep internally and say, what are my insecurities? What is holding my, me back? What are my limiting beliefs? What skills do I need to get better at? And I focus on all those things and I know I've gotten better. So I finally feel like I'm ready and I feel like I've evolved and I finally feel like I'm ready to share my story because I know that there are other people out there who are in situations that do not like what's going on. Maybe you're in a bad relationship, maybe the people don't inspire you that you're around, maybe you're not making enough money, maybe you don't like the way you look. You can change all of these things. You just need to take more action, but you also need to be clear on what is holding you back and what do you actually want? And what are you going to do about it? And that's the point I had to go through. It's a journey for me. The last six months have been challenging. They've been beautiful. Some parts have been sad. And that's why I want to bring you guys with me each step of the way. And I'm excited to bring you guys into the new studio. Hopefully incorporate some more people. I want to collaborate. I want to put myself out there. And I want to have fun. The last six months were fun because I like to stay disciplined and follow a routine. But I want to start having some more fun. And I think you guys know what I mean. So I appreciate you guys watching, supporting. If you enjoyed today's video and message, hit the like button right now. Subscribe to the channel now to follow along on my journey. If you wanna hear where I'm moving and why, click the first link in the description and listen to Sales Proceed Podcast. I'm really proud of what I'm building there. And have a great rest of your day.